we went to a we went to a place that is called El Tianguis El Chopo, which is a place, it's like a market of metal, where like um, on Saturdays every metalhead goes and uh, there you can find CDs and shirts and stuff. And we printed a lot of, of, of our first album and we just were like giving the album for free to every thrasher and every metal hit that we saw in there. So I mean, the the internet it's a it's a very important tool nowadays, but we still uh, do the the old school job, you know, like to spread the the album like physically. No, do you do you guys still make flyers for some of your shows? Um, yeah, but. When, when we make the shows, it's the flyers. Um, only we, we we spread it on, on the internet. We didn't print it for, uh, like, like for the people. Have they been interviewed by magazines yet? Now, have you guys been interviewed in magazines before? Uh, pardon me? Have you guys been interviewed with uh, magazines before? Actually, we have only get interviews for fan signs and all the stuff, but like for a magazine, it's our first time. Okay, so, 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 yeah. so, how, how about like this, like a podcast, like this one? Do you have you done any podcast interviews? Um, no, it's it's also our first time. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're losing our bridge. Here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We, we, yeah, you bought the virginity. We took your virginity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <God. laughs> Dave, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, when you guys write an album, how long does it take to usually write, an, write for the for album? Um, for <laughs> Rising Glory, it took us two months to probably one year. One uh, year? Yeah, because we had like a lot of issues, like internal issues with the band and with the members. We used to have another bass player that um, left us um, maybe six months ago. So we had a rough time. That's why it took us a, a longer to, to release this last album. But um, I would say like if, if we just focus on and just writing the music, it would take us six months, probably, to write another album. Then how long is yeah. it? How long is the recording process usually go for you guys? Pardon me. How long does the recording process usually take? Oh, it took us like one month. Yeah, probably it was more or less one month between the the sessions that we have with the studio. Because the thing is that with the with the rising glory. Um, at the uh, when we when we went into the studio, uh, it had like internal issues, you know, like they had problems with their stuff. So we needed to postpone the the dates. <laughs> um, so it uh, we ended like recording the album probably for one month and a half. Mm -hmm. Also because we only record on weekends, you know, because from Monday to Friday we have to go to work and school. And Friday, Saturday and Sunday was for recording. So it was like, I don't know, maybe 10 days, but spread all over the month. Okay. So now, do you guys have any new songs recorded? I mean, you know, for the new album, for a new album, do you have any songs ready yet? just getting started um we have the intro for a new song and it's uh i mean it sounds killer uh but but not a complete song no uh we we released the album um two months ago so we're just having in mind to to give a lot of promotion to to it and tour and probably after one month part pardon me after one year uh, or so we're gonna be uh, getting into the rehearsal room again to to start writing new music. 
So now, will you, will you guys probably go in the same recording studio again when you do a new album? Well, actually, we're thinking to record a new album on maybe April of 2018. Because we have our plans for the years to tour maybe from June to December. And after that, we're going to start the recording and the writing process. Now, now, when you guys come to the NYD and Spring Bash, will you be bringing uh, CDs for the fans to buy? Oh, sure. Um, uh, we're we're going to be sending the, the merch to Randy. And, and yeah, we're just, we're just waiting for our label to give us the, the rising glory. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to be taking with us the ceremony, the presence of evil shirts, and maybe patches, and... Pets. And uh, the Rising Glory. <laughs> yeah, the and all the previous albums. Now your two albums, they're only on uh, CD, right? You didn't put them on vinyl. Um, pardon me. I said the the two albums you guys made, they're only on CD. They're not on vinyl, right? Uh, no, no, just CDs. Yeah, we haven't had the the opportunity. To, to make them to make them on vinyl, uh, we would love to to have those albums on vinyl because I mean we have uh, for us we love the the covers that are on them, um, but no we haven't got the the offer from any label or so. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe someday you can re-release them on a vinyl, maybe. Mm. No, hopefully <laughs> we would love that. Mm. Well, guys, I want to thank you for your time for the interview. No, thank you, man, and I will see you on the Spring Bash. Now, you you have any last words to say to all the fans listening? Uh, keep it thrashing, and uh, we are looking forward to see you on the Spring Bash. Keep so, it you <laughs> and invite us some beers. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you to all the people that is listening to the interview right now. Um, just catch us up on on the NYDM Spring Bash because uh, we're gonna break some bones over there. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And that's all. Yeah, you're gonna find us as animals. That's it. Keep it evil, guys. And thank you, Dave. Oh, uh, you're welcome. We'll we'll do another interview in the future. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Oh, thank you. Thank you <laughs> Take care. Now, now, I'm, now, I'm gonna finish the show with the song "Rise and Glory." What's the song "Rise and Glory" about? Um, "Rise and Glory" is pretty much your history, and it it talks about not to give up on your dreams. Um, sometimes you feel like you're on the floor, uh, but you need to find the hope and the fire inside you to to get up and fight for your dreams. So that's it. Um, uh, a quote that I like a lot is endless victory awaits to those who take the risk and life is to those who dare to challenge destiny. So that pretty much describes Rising Glory. Awesome. Well, thanks again for the time for the interview, guys. No, thank you, Dave and your wife. <laughs> it was nice to hear you guys. Yeah. And hopefully we're going to, we're going to, have another interview in the future. De definitely. Keep thrashing, guys. Thank you. Have a Thank good night. You. Have a good night. You okay? And you're wet. <laughs> Take care. Okay, bye, bye. guys.